We're now going to take a look at the reef structure. Although there are different types of coral reefs, they do have some things in common, which is the structure of the reef. Here we have a diagram showing a typical reef structure. To the left, we have the sea, and to the right, we have the beach. Rising up from the lower depths of the ocean to water level, right near the surface of the water, is an area called the reef front. The slope of the reef front can be either steep or it can be gentle. This is a low stress area, which means there's not a lot of wave action and it's relatively calm. Corals like the brain coral and the pillar coral usually settle in this area. As we move further up, we encounter the reef crest, which can sometimes protrude out of the water. Now this area has very high wave stress. And so the corals that grow here are usually branching corals like the Elkhorn coral, which can diffuse some of that strong wave action. As we move further, toward the beach area, we also encounter an area called the reef flat. The reef flat is also called the back reef and it's found behind the reef crest. It can be short or several hundred meters long. The water can be shallow or it can be several meters deep. The bottom of the flat usually consists of rock, sand and coral rubble or some combination of these. You'll also find sea grasses growing there in the reef flat area. The reef flat of atolls and barrier reefs descend into the lagoon, whereas the reef flat of fringing reefs ends at the shoreline. One thing to take note of is that different areas have different environmental conditions, and because of this, it supports a different type of coral reef species.